You wanna go fishing today? You wanna go do some fishing? Okay guys, it's Backwaters Brenton here. There we go. <laughs> I'll never get this technology down. But So uh, yeah, we're going fishing today. See if we can catch some lake trout or maybe coho. Get really lucky, maybe some browns. So st stay tuned. Fish a headache? Yeah. <laughs> what you need? Oh, pliers? Well, they get beat up pretty quick once you pull them out of the water, but what we have here is a coho, a coho, and I think that's a splake. You can't, well, let's see, look at the tails here. When this one came in, it looked different than the coho, so. Splakes are half coho, half lake trout, if I'm not mistaken. They're like a hybrid, they can't breed. We caught uh, also a brown and two more cohos, which I sent home with my fishing buddy today. So we'll get started on them. Well, hey guys, Backwaters Brenton. So I got some news to share with you guys, quite a bit actually. I'm gonna put together a video here I think I've got enough footage to make an interesting one. So, I want to show you guys my new boat. There she is. Okay, I'm looking for a name. And I'm going to ask you guys for help on this. I'll throw out a few suggestions, but I'm open to anything really. Some of the things that I uh, relate to, and therefore the name seems to revolve around it, obviously is something like with the word shanty in it, even though this is not really a shanty boat. But it is an interesting boat. I mean, depends how widely we cast the net of what a shanty boat is. But uh, I'm thinking, and also the UP, I love the UP, and they call us Upers up here. I'm a, instead of an interloper, I'm a Uper loper because you got to be here for about five generations and have finished blood to really be a youper, but that's a different story. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking like a youper looper, because I'm going to do the great loop in this boat, or maybe the um, this the super duper youper looper, or youper looper shanty beagle 2, or something like that. These are just some ideas, but like I said, if you, you know, if you see this boat and you're like, something pops in your head, throw it out in the comment section. And any, whatever one I settle on, if you if you help me find a name, I'm going to send you guys a special postcard from a special place. So, if you want it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this is a 32-foot hand-built, uh, well, I don't know what you call it. Riverboat, houseboat, 8.5 feet wide, 32 feet long. 
What makes this boat special, there's a lot of reasons, a lot of things come together on this boat you don't see in one boat usually, is, well, for starters, it's got a Honda 50 horse four stroke outboard on the back on a jack plate. So it's extremely efficient. It's only about a 10 mile an hour boat, but uh, it'll do that all day long and it'll cruise a six or seven all day long. Very well built by a guy named Tim who lives down in Grand Haven, Michigan, which I think I'm gonna have a chance to meet. He built it back in uh, the late 90s and he sold it to a fella a few years ago in Iowa and then he just sold it to me a couple about a month ago so i it was kind of up in the air as to what i was going to do with this boat i was thinking about maybe passing it on to a family uh, some friends here in town that have a big family of six kids and they were thinking about doing the loop but they've decided to go a different route so which is fine with me because i actually fell in love with the boat and decided that i'd love to keep it so works out just like it should like it always does so so yeah it's uh it drafts two and a half feet it's trailerable. I'll show you guys the trailer. It's got about the best trailer you could ever get. It's a triple axle aluminum trailer. Um, which my Tundra will pull around. It's a little right at the edge of its limit, but uh, but it does do the job, and that's what counts. So I, in theory, I can take this boat out to the Puget Sound, go live, in on, live on it in Seattle for a winter. I can do the loop in it. <clears throat> Very tough, stout boat. I mean, the, this guy did a great job building it and I, I'm sure I'll get an interview with him and he'll tell you a whole lot more about it but uh, right now its name is Pokey which <clears throat> it's all fine and dandy and fits but that's not the name for me so why don't you guys give me a hand with this okay guys well let me show you the inside I'm cleaning up today so what we have here is a couple of what do you call those barn doors or French doors and then a, a pop-up hatch, kind of like you'll see some uh, sailboats have. And then you walk down these stairs. Now the guy that built it was like uh, six foot five or six or something like that. And so I think that's one of the reasons why he decided to build his own boat. He just couldn't find one that fit him. So it's got really high ceilings. I'm only 5'10", so it feels cavernous to me. But uh, okay, so start in the front here. It's got a little cutty which in a pinch you could sleep up there even an adult could that's you know six foot or under a couple of kids can definitely sleep under there one there one there here's the helm the motor purrs like a kitten I'm really happy with that a couple of bar stools for seats it's got this couch here which i've already i i have a collection of um cushions because I buy and sell campers is one way I make some money and oftentimes I you know end up keeping extra cushions that come with them or replace them or whatever they're still in good shape and so I've got a whole storage shed of those and I found these these are actually the original ones out of the shanty beagle um, before I gutted it so repurpose those it's got a bunch of storage underneath got a big sink storage in the back storage underneath this is where I believe they had a freezer or refrigerator one that opens from the top I don't know what I'm gonna do with this space but I'm more of a cooler guy I don't really um, want a uh, want a want a traditional fridge or freezer I just go with like the high quality Yetis and stuff like that for coolers and just get ice it just keeps it simpler so I'll probably make that into more storage space not that I need it Got some cabinets up here. I've got a, uh, a map table, that's what I would call that, with even more storage under there. Then you got the ta da! Female room, I mean bathroom. You've got a toilet and a shower. This, uh, is this a shower? I think it is. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. Because it's got that. Uh, Got a sump pump and a drain right there. Another little sink. A vanity. A fan. And then we've got the uh, the room where all the magic happens. No, I'm just kidding. It's got a big old bed in the back here. It's like a um, king size at least. Which I'm going to uh, set up for sleeping and such. 
And then this that hatch right there opens up to the back deck. So yeah, more room than I'm used to. This is bigger than the ice castle that I live in on pretty much full time and I'm home. So uh yeah, at first I thought it was just way too big for me, but you know, I eventually imagine I will come across a co-pilot or a first mate and uh help fill the space, but even, you know, I'm going to take this to the Bahamas and just carrying enough water, you know, comes in handy. So 32 feet starting to feel just right to me after spending a little time on it. So yeah, guys, I'm going to keep cleaning up and show you some more stuff. I'm doing some cleaning here, some deep cleaning. I'll show you what's behind the bed in the back. So we've got three batteries, two gas tanks. I think those are both 30s. And when you combine that with just a 50 horse four stroke Honda, that's a lot of range, which I will find out what it is. Kind of give you an idea what the inside of the boat is. So it's, if I'm not mistaken, um, marine grade plywood with fiberglass over the outside. And then it's got some kind of clear coat over the inside. In really good condition. It's been stored inside for most of its life. I'll find out what the actual history of the boat is, but I think the original builder and owner took it on the Great Loop. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get an interview with him, so we shall see. Maybe he'll even watch this video and get in contact with me, because I am just made friends with uh, some friends of his in Grand Haven there, so what you guys are going to get to know, the pirate and the princess, they have a shanty boat ready to go this fall. They're going to make videos. You guys are going to love it. Wavy gravy. Here's the cuddy. Just clean that up. Storage underneath the floor. Here's the monster trailer that came with the boat. Probably just in dollar wise it's worth more than the boat, but not in uh, not another valuation. Yeah, toes like a dream.